Hey, this is Chris Menard. Uh, three items I want to show you in Microsoft Excel. And one is a follow-up to my video two weeks ago on how to pull data from a website into Excel directly without copying and pasting. So I took from Wikipedia, and we pull it up, I went to this website, and I didn't want to sit here and copy-paste because it would pick up all these images. I took this information, and I threw it into Microsoft Excel. So that was the video two weeks ago, and I'll put that at the end of this video if you want to go back and watch that. But my friend Christian from the UK, and he's really smart. He does e-commerce websites. He does uh, corporate identity kits, graphic design. He even edits my webinars and gets rid of the dead space and adds intro screens and music and all that. Anyway, he came back to me and said, why don't I just take these numbers, which are actually showing up as accounting, and just go format them whatever way I want to. And I pointed out that they're actually still not numbers. So that's one of the lessons today is make sure that your numbers are truly numbers and not text. So as an example, I have 2,700 here, and I summed up F6 through F15, except that's incorrect. And the way I know it is if I do the T function, and I've done this one before, but it's one of my favorite functions. The T function is going to determine if something's a value, and if it is, it'll return a blank. So that 500 is actually a number. And if I autofill this down, if you do see something displayed, that means it's text. So even though I don't have any of the green triangles, which happens all the time to me when I'm pulling data from somewhere, those two items right there are text, and that's why this is incorrect. So to fix it, and I'll do this twice, this is what I showed you last week, and this is what he specifically asked me about. I did the number one. I'm going to copy it, highlight. I'm going to go to Paste Special. And I'm going to multiply 5,600. I'm going to do an undo one time. So there's 2,700 and a redo. And so one more time, copy, highlight, because I know that these are text. Pay special, multiply, hit OK. Now they're really numbers. So that's one trick you need to have in your Excel arsenal when you're analyzing data. One more item, if you don't like the T function, which is right here again, you can come back here and highlight, and you can use conditional formatting. The problem is I'm going to do a new rule, and I'm going to use a formula. The problem is you can't use the T function when you're in conditional format formatting. So the way to get around that is to use the isText function. And I put in B2 because that's the first cell that I selected. I'm going to go to Format. So if something's text, I'm going to put it in a yellow background. Watch this. They're all going to go yellow, I hope, because they're all text. So let's do my trick again. Copy, Select, Paste Special, Multiply. All the yellow should disappear because now they're numbers. One more trick about data coming from a website. Uh, I wanted to go and chart all the counties in my state. I'm in Georgia. The state of Texas has more counties than any other state. Second is Georgia with 159 counties. So I pulled this from Wikipedia. So I got 160 records, which means I got 159 counties. And I went ahead and created a chart by going to Insert, and I did a map chart. I noticed, though, in my chart, if you notice, I got a lot of blue in my state, but I got Florida, Texas, I got the uh, Pacific Northwest. If you notice, I'm going to scroll down and click on row 71, Hancock County. Well, Excel and Bing Maps... They don't know that this is Georgia. So Hancock County, it actually pulled in Maine. So what you have to do sometimes is when you're pulling data from other sources and doing these map charts, 
is you have to do what's called disambiguation. So I'm going to go, and I did this chart again already. And I just put it on a separate worksheet just so you can see it easier. Right now I'm looking at the world. It's a map chart of the world, but if you notice, there's my state. So I'm going to double click in here with the mouse. It pulls up format data points. I'm going to change it from world to country region. Hoping to see now just the U.S. And I do, and look, there I am. I don't see any other blue anywhere else. And then I'm going to go to either, I got two options here. Both of these are going to do exactly the same because I'm only charting one state. So I'm going to just go to state. And I'm in business. That is it. That's population, Georgia population. One more trick you can do while you're here, map labels. I'm going to turn on best fit only. Go back here again. Show all. So it's actually showing me the names of the 159 counties with show all. And I'm going to go back to best fit only. Now, if you tell me, Chris, I don't care about charting population. Well, that's great. You can chart revenue by customers. You can chart the number of customers you have. So that's actually a pretty neat feature using insert map chart. It's with Excel 2016 for Office 365 only, though, I believe. Anyway, thank you for your time. Please visit my YouTube page. I have more videos on YouTube than I post on LinkedIn. You just can't put that many videos on LinkedIn a day. Also, if you need Microsoft Office training, please send me an email. There's my email address right there. Thank you for your time.